Hello everybody, and this is Argon Matrix again, welcoming you back to my third, I think it's the third episode, episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, yeah. So now we're gonna climb this ladder, no, I'm not gonna talk like that, that would be super annoying. Believe me, I know. Anyways, so yeah, we just beat that room, and we got the fairy slingshot, which does not mean we can shoot Navi, it means we can shoot seeds instead. Hooray. But that also means that if you... That you can shoot these guys too, and they just die in one shot, not too big of a challenge or anything. And they drop rupees, yay. Or rupee, I guess. Anyways, if you try to climb this wall here with these things still there, then it, then you'll they'll basically turn purple and attack you. Like, seriously. Like, like why would you turn purple? Hey, what's this? Ooh, it's shiny. Why is it so shiny? I never got that. They look, they look like they're made of gold or something. They look like Pac-Man, kind of. I just noticed that they look Pac-Man. Oh, wait. hey, hey, it's on top of the chest. Why can't I just reach up and grab it? It's like right above my head. Can't I? Can't? Well, I don't need it. Whatever. My ammo is full, anyways. Anyways, yeah. If you try to climb this, they'll turn purple and they'll charge at you and they'll pretty much destroy you. Well, not destroy you. They'll just knock you down and you'll take like a quarter of hard damage or something. But it's annoying, and you might actually be able to climb up here without the slingshot. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, once you're up here, uh, you can come. You'll come across these big spiders. You just have to be patient with them. Well, don't don't go back up. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to turn around and I jump slice you in the back, and that auto kills them. And they just they. Ha I think that's so stupid that it, it's like laziness how they just have one sprite that bounces around on the ground forever. It looks like they're not even really doing anything. It just looks like they kind of fell and they're like, ooh, ow, ooh, oh, oh, that's so painful. Ow, oh, ow. Anyways, first thing I like to do when I come in this room is take this thing so I can get some more Deku nuts and then come over here and take out another big spider with an awesome jump attack. You can also use a Deku stick to hit them in the back. That also works as a one-hit kill. But don't just use a regular sword slice because then you have to do, t do it twice in order to kill them. And that's just a pain in everyone's rear. So, uh, the next thing you have to do... This room is entirely optional, by the way. If you don't want the compass or what reward lies over here, then you can skip this room altogether and just go and just skip for skip ahead further in the video to see what you're supposed to do next. Uh, but I recommend doing this room too. So, anyways, we get a heart there that heals us, and here we have the first of 100. I mean, literally 100 golden sculptures that you will be killing throughout the game. I'll show you where to find all of them. And when you kill them, you pick up a golden sculpture token, to golden sculpture token, and that pr the proves you destroyed it. You will do something with those later in the game. You can't do anything with them right now. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you when you can do something with them though, and they are extremely useful. I think it's necessary to collect at least ten of them throughout the game. I'm not, sh I'm not positive on that, but I think it's necessary. So, anyways, to get the compass in this room, basically you just have to go to that other platform that's right across from us with another big chest on it. Ooh, boy, what could be in this one? Like, I didn't already spoil that for you. Because this chest contains, apparently, a very shiny, from all that light coming out of there, a compass. Like, yeah. So this, this shows you where you are on the map. Like, you're that yellow arrow on the map down there. And the red arrow is where you came into the room from, or came into the area from. And if there's, and it also shows you where the dungeon boss is, like, I, I think it does. Yeah, see, it's on the basement floor here. And it shows you where to find treasure chests and stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to save quite yet. So anyways, now, to get out of this room, you're just going to take a Deku stick here, light it on fire, light it on fire, and bring it over here. Uh, for some reason that reminds me of the Olympic torch. I don't know why, it doesn't really resemble anything like it. it's just a stick that's on fire it's the most primitive source of fire that you could ever think of just wood and fire anyways so now uh now that you've completed that optional room or not if you just skipped ahead to this point in the video and if so well you suck because you should have watched me i was totally awesome like i i glitched out and everything yeah it was amazing you go but better go back and watch that so I'm gonna just jump down here and commit suicide. Yay! Yay for suicide! But no, I didn't commit suicide. I landed in the stupid water, and now I'm in the shallow portion of the water. So anyways, in here there's gonna be two golden sculptures for you to kill and collect their tokens. 
one of which is right there. And uh, they hit two, two hits from the slingshot to kill them. And the other one is over here, right on the bars. I don't know why there's bars down there. Like, where do they go? We're inside a tree. Where would those bars even go? Do they like go to like a secret underground sewer system? Do they go to that sewer system that's in Twilight Princess? You have to go through, and that would be awesome. So, anyways, that's our first golden skull show token in this room. And you can come up here. Uh, press the switch to light the torch over there, as I like to call it the death fire. I don't know why. That's just kind of a running joke I have. Look, it's called a death fire. And there's your other golden cultural token. That makes three so far. Three out of a hundred were part way there. Uh, yeah. So there's a chest here. You might want to open it if you do. If you're not full health, because it contains a recovery heart. Man, like how many how many people have been murdered in this stupid tree? This that's like the f second or third heart that we found in the chest. So anyways, uh, please die. Thank you. Hey, you gave me nuts too. Awesome. So anyways, what you're supposed to do in this room, because there's no obvious exit really, but you, you're probably going to want to do something with this fire here, the death fire, because you made it. You made it. it it's there for a reason. It's not just there to give you a heart. A heart. Yeah. That was, that was weird how I just pronounced heart. So anyways, uh, yeah, you light that spider web on fire, it goes away, but for some reason that other section of it doesn't burn away. I don't know why. That's just Zelda logic, I guess. And here, there's another Deku Scrub. Oh, yeah, if you get too close to him, he'll just go right underground, so... Make sure that you're far away from him and before shooting his own nut back at him. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. I, that's awesome. I love that line. It's just kind of—it's like so cheesy and stupid that it's funny. Anyways, uh, you want to shoot this eye with a bullet, yeah, with that slingshot seed, and that allows you to progress further in the dungeon. Yeah, basically everything you do in this dungeon allows you to progress further in the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a dungeon, would it? Yeah. Um, more tutorial craft from Navi. She's telling us that if we hold down A in the water, you can dive. Yeah, you can dive, guys. You can dive. I, I always, like, since there's an exclamation point after the word dive in her dialogue, I always think that she says that so, like, emphatically or something. Uh, and look, there's more, like, bars here in this part. Like, like I understand that that's where the water drains away when you drain it by pressing the switch. But, like, where does it actually go? Like, where, where does that go? And it comes back eventually because it's on a timer. Anyways, uh, if you don't lower the water, you'll just get hit by that spike bar, you'll, like, puncture your heart and die. Yeah, it's not fun. And here's Navi telling us how to pull a block now. Oh, joy. Even more tutorial crap. Uh, can you please shut up, Navi? Uh, normally you can just press B to skip text, text, but if it's important text, like t the tutorial is, so we can't figure this out on our own, then it won't, then you won't be able to skip it. So you just press A to grab and pull this block by, yeah, and you pull it over here, then you climb on top of it, climb up here, and I think we have time enough to do the next room in this video. Oh, uh, yeah. This room is really easy. It's hot. It's not very memorable at all, actually. You stupid thing. You just die. Thank you. And, yeah. And just in case you need a Daker Stick, because you won't need a Daker Stick in this room, you can kill this thing. Anyways, you want to take this Death Fire. You go over here, light this torch. You take this. You light this torch, too. And that's how you progress further in the dungeon. Because apparently, fire can unlock doors. Isn't that just awesome? Alright, more of sticks, awesome. Yeah, anyways, I think that we're pretty much going to end it right here now. So, in the next episode, we're going to finish the Deck Tree Dungeon, because there's really not a whole lot left in this place. So, thank you guys for watching, and pro I promise that there's more good stuff to come. So, anyways, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.